we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, we have Bitcoin and crypto slightly down, but we have the stock market moving up. So that means tonight, guys, we're going to be moving up. I'm not your financial advice, not financial advice. Please do your own research. But the only thing you have to do is look at yields. Yields are being pushed down. The 10-year touch 4%. Now it's at about 38 and we see England's bond market is going crazy. So they definitely are going to get this settled down. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. It is so important in this market right now because everything is manipulated. It'll tell you where everything is going. We have yield rates, which are right now being pushed down. Volume, Tether, USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo is still over $2 trillion. Now, we have this article states England's bond market intervention raises hope for Fed pivot. Guys, we know the Fed is not pivoting. The reason why? Because we know the Fed's goal, the fourth industrial revolution. And I'm going to go over that in a second video with Mike Novogratz, and he said it perfectly. We know they give us half the truth, but what he stated is that people don't understand that they're fired yet. And that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to have mass layoffs. And we see all these central bank digital currencies are moving in lockstep, not just raising rates and running off the balance sheet, but then also getting these CBDCs ready. We have China, Thailand, and the UAE test the CBDC pilot, and the BIS says it was successful with 22 million transacted. And guys, don't forget to look up the Project Icebreaker with the BIS Israel working on their CBDC. Sweden. Now we have the ECB official defends Amazon role in autonomous digital euro. And of course, most people would be scratching their head. What does Amazon have to do with building an actual digital currency? But guys, we know when it comes to the cloud, AWS has crypto on lock. Remember the fourth industrial revolution 
Data is the new oil and the new land. Now, guys, don't forget about grayscale. Moving up to about 6.8, so moving up slightly, do not forget to pay attention to the actual allocations. But getting over into a little crypto news, and the movie continues. We have Do Kwan back on Twitter talking about misinformation. None of his funds have been frozen. Now we have Crypto.com scores fresh regulatory approval in France. And we know Crypto.com, Coinbase, and FTX are the leaders and pushers of this digital transformation. Guys, it's all about adoption. And when are they pushing? Right in the bear market. And we have MetaMask adopts custodial features for NFT institutional investors. Also, we have Ethereum Project Ribbon Finance launches crypto option exchange to boost growth. And they're going to start off with Bitcoin and Ethereum options. And we know the casino just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And lastly... We have FTX ready to battle Ripple over Celsius assets. On my second video, I'm going to touch bases a little more on this. Mike Novogratz spoke about the Celsius, the C5 projects that took a hit. But guys, we know this was all caused by the Fed and it was all part of the plan because it's allowed the politicians and the Fed to push their regulation on stable coins and CBDCs. Because remember, guys, they're illegal. They had to have a narrative. They had to have a distraction, a talking point to sell to the people that they have a better product than the actual private sector. Remember what Jerome Powell stated yesterday. When it comes to money printing, we want to leave that up to the Fed. But we see companies like Ripple pushing the CBDCs. And guys, we know that's something that we don't want. Because we know CBDCs give them total control. Be able to tell you what, where, and when, and how to buy. You have three to six months to spend it or poof, it's gone. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the New Road Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book, plus the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The new stock channel. Guys, make sure you go check it out. I put a great video up there last night. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. Well, everybody's sitting at home get home stocks. to see where the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yashua and Grandma Tim. Face the village. Part 2. King Yashu and Grandma T. Save New York. Long COVID 33. Part 3. King Yashu and Grandma T. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part 1, part 2, and part 3 of this series. It's time to re educate Generation Z. Part 2. King Yashu and Grandma T. Save New York. Long COVID 33. Part 3. King Yashu and Grandma T. Save New York. Long COVID 33. Part 3. King Yashu and Grandma T. Save New York